Mae West's film, she done wrong gave everybody in the smallest town in the biggest city a chance to actually see her. It was released in February of 1933, just after FDR is elected. And a lot of people see her and FDR is kind of a new spirit that seizes America. The film generates so much box office that by June, according to Paramount, it was able to climb out of bankruptcy. And now, folks, we are entering the gates that so many tried to crash and so few pass. Within these portals, you may see such famous stars as the Marx Brothers, Mae West, Harry Grant, and many of your other favorites. It catapults her into the limelight, into success. And now the huge crowd is awed as the star of stars makes her appearance. Mae West has come to town. People wanted to escape in the movies. The poverty, the difficulty, the bread lines. And Mae West created an image of this beautiful woman walking around in these extraordinary clothes. The glamour of 1930s Hollywood depended a lot on Mae West. Up here at uh, Mr. Bowman's beautiful theater to see the uh, grand opening of premiere of my new picture, I'm No Angel. Of course, I didn't call it I'm No Angel for nothing. <laughs> Don't forget, come up and see me sometime. <laughs> Paramount came and said, well, we need another film for you, so what would you like to do? She actually wanted to be a lion tamer as a child, and so she wrote I'm No Angel, and she portrays Tyra, the lion tamer. Tyra, the million dollar beauty! It was a childhood fulfillment. There she is, making an entrance into the circus in Madison Square Garden on a big, beautiful elephant, and there she is whipping the lions on, into a performance. Come on, baby. Come on, a woman training lions? putting her head in a lion's mouth. So she's thinking of ways to show herself as a woman of power, an original woman. 